<laughs> no, no, I really enjoy it. That's not my first time, obviously, and I, I come often because that's my favorite event uh, that, that I've been with. So I'm super happy to be back. Oh, the Radiant Readers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they gave me so much. Uh, that's the reason I go in conventions like that. It's to have the feedback of the, the experience of the people reading my manga. Because when I do the manga, I'm all by myself. I'm enjoying doing it, but I don't like to read it afterward. And the, the, the book only exists when it's experienced by the readers. So I come to events like that just to get the experience. And sometimes I have very emotional encounters. Just the last person I signed with, uh, she was crying, and uh, so that, that there's always something very intimate between the reader and the work that I do, and I love, I love to to catch this feeling and to to know what is working in my mind when I do it and what is working uh, with the reader, readers when they they experience it, and so that's my energy. That's the way I uh, I get the fuel to go on with the work uh, all day long. The, the, the surprising thing for me was to understand that when I went there, uh, when I met people from the industry, so mangakas, bookshop owners or stuff like that, they were really inclined to discover it. And uh, we, we, we have the impression from outside that they are close-minded to what, what comes from outside. And I, I experienced the opposite. That was welcoming. Every author that I encountered over there were very welcoming and made me feel like I'm part of the same industry. That was a surprise for me. But saying that, we don't play the same game at all. Radiant is very small in Japan. It exists in Japan, that is something. There have been two seasons of anime, that is great. But when you publish a manga in Japan, the pace of it is very high. Also, the, the fact that they published the manga in the magazine changed a lot of things. My manga is only sold in bookstores when it's finished. So that's a very different game that we, that we are playing, yeah. at least. But it exists, and that's, that's enough for me. Yeah. Uh, the engagement of the people, I thought that I would do just... Uh, that I would just draw comics, and then I would spend my life just drawing comics, and never really... If, if a success happened, it would be just something uh, very uh, that I can grasp and until now I I'm not reassured at all so even if the engagement of the people is great and I can have uh, many uh, incredible feedbacks and uh, and the numbers are high at least in France it's huge and in some other countries it works up as well but even then I'm more anxious than ever <laughs> so the the thing I wasn't expecting was the fact that there's nothing that can reassure someone that is not reassured. <laughs> I would say that. That's my surprise. <laughs> yeah, I would put the, the difference in manga compared to other type of comics into the human uh, experience. That yeah. You spend a lot of time, not just with an idea or a, an action scene or whatever, it always goes through the lens of the person experiencing it. And when the person experiencing it uh, is thinking about it, formulating things and stuff, there's the appeal of it. But then when you, when you close the book and you speak to a friend about this, you speak differently uh, about that. When I, I love to hear people speak about One Piece because they speak about freedom, they speak about anarchy, they speak about the, the, the bad government and fighting for freedom and stuff. And that's incredible. So the, the, the human experience of the character in the manga makes it worth it. So you don't change your world with a story, but maybe every story is a few steps to maybe put some question in the mind of, of the readers. And even if that's not just a, a lesson, a moral lesson, even if that raises some questions, some interrogation, uh, that's plenty enough. So, yeah, I would say that the manga does it very well. Uh, so, differently from Japanese manga, I put a lot of diversity into yeah. my cast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do that because I live through that, and that's the, I'm, I, I grew up in France, but I'm not completely French, for example. So, that's the story of part of my family, my friends, and stuff. I didn't realize how much it could count for the readers to feel represented. So every time I go in some uh, some signing session, yesterday I was in Rome, and yesterday a girl came 
to me, talking about feeling represented in Radiant and uh, saying she was crying and stuff. And so, yeah, the personal experience of, of just feeling represented. That, that is not giving a moral lesson, that just thank you because I feel that I live in your work. And I, I wasn't expecting that much um, yeah, personal implication in that. I do that for me, but then when it when it's out, the people take it very to, to them and make it their own. That's the, the surprise.